process mapping is a very effective and powerful tool that can help any organization understand how a process is being performed currently, or it can be used to enable them to visualize or design how they would like to see a process performed in the future. This short video will show how to map a common business process using a cross-functional or swim lane methodology. The process to be mapped is about employee recruitment and is based on a common generic scenario. The process shown does not represent a standard or best practice. At the end of the video, you will see information on how to learn more about process mapping. Let's begin by describing the scenario. An accounts payable manager submits a requisition to the Human Resources Department to hire an external individual to fill a vacant accounts payable clerk position who needs to start before the new fiscal year begins. HR is responsible to draft the job due to details according to the specs in the requisition and post it online. The AP manager will check and approve the details before it is posted. Edits will be given to HR if required to finalize the job due to details before posting. Incoming resumes from job applicants will be reviewed by HR and they will create an initial shortlist. The company has an application tracking system to automatically pre-screen resumes and have the option to use it if the volume is greater than their staff's capacity given their due date constraint. HR will arrange for a telephone interview with each individual on the initial list to create a final shortlist. They will use the final shortlist to arrange a personal interview with the AP manager. An optional reference check may be performed to confirm an individual's work and education history before a personal interview. The AP manager will reach a decision on the first choice individual they want to hire and notify HR, who will call the person advising of their selection and send a job offer package. The individual selected has the option to accept or decline a job offer. If accepted, HR will send an onboarding package to the individual and arrange for a desktop computer and workstation. They will also raise a ticket in the work order system for the IT department to grant the individual with system access to the appropriate AP applications. The package will advise the individual of their start date and arrival logistics. If declined, HR will advise the AP manager, who will offer the job to an individual they consider as their second choice. This person also has the option to accept or decline a job offer. If the second individual declines, the AP manager will pause the hiring process and collaborate with HR to determine the next steps, which may include revising the job duty details or reassessing the salary range. It's time to create a cross-functional or swim lane process map to visually see how the work flows, including showing the following key elements. Input, output, activity steps, decision points, and functions. What you're looking at is a cross-functional or swim lane template downloaded from Microsoft Visio. There are other good software products one can use by doing a quick search on the internet. The choice is yours and obtaining the skills to use them is fairly quick and easy. The page height and width has been expanded and advanced to save a bit of time. Let's zoom in to take a closer look at the process map we are about to create. Now add the name of the process in a title field followed by labeling of the three swim lanes showing the Accounts Payable Manager, Human Resources Department, and Job Applicants, who are the three functions in this process. The initial thing you want to do when mapping a process is to show the first and last activity steps to establish the boundaries. In our scenario, the first activity step or input into the process occurs when the AP manager submits a requisition for HR to hire an accounts payable clerk. 
Let's first place the start symbol, sometimes referred to as a terminator symbol, and record the word start. Now let's place the process symbol and add a connector line to show the direction of the workflow. Record the details of the first activity step we described a moment ago. The last step in our scenario is when the job applicant reports to work on a specified date and follows the arrival logistics. Let's place the symbol showing the endpoint of this map at the bottom right hand corner of the page. Now add a process symbol and connect it to the endpoint. Next, let's record the details of the last activity step we just described. This is the output when following the happy path in a process. On this note, please be aware that this process has a different output when you think about the unhappy path. As you may recall, the AP manager will pause the hiring process and collaborate with HR to determine the next steps if the second individual declines the job offer. To show this, let's place another process symbol and position it in this area. Collaboration between two different functions is shown on a map by expanding the activity step across these two swim lanes. Now let's record the output we just described in this step. The next thing to do is to connect this step we just added to the endpoint 2 because the process doesn't go beyond this point in our scenario. Now that the boundaries have been illustrated on the map, let's go back to the beginning and add the second step in the workflow, which is performed by the HR department. They would draft the job duty details and submit it to the AP manager for a review. Since the job duty details are in a draft state, let's show the AP manager making a decision regarding approving it or not. The symbol used when showing a decision is a diamond and requires a question to be asked. Let's place this symbol with the AP manager, add a connector line originating from the HR activity step just completed, and record the question by stating approve, which will have a yes or no decision outcome. If the job duty details are not approved, let's add an activity step with a no outcome showing the AP manager providing the edits required. Let's continue with this path in the process and show a step for HR finalizing the job duty details based on the edits given to them. Their next step is to post the job opening online because it's ready to go. Let's show this activity happening over to the right side of this step. We can now connect the yes path from the decision point to this recently added activity step if the AP manager approved the job duty details the first time. For formatting purposes, it's a good idea to move the outcome of a decision point closer to the symbol by using this feature in Visio called text block. Now that the job has been posted, we can illustrate the job applicants submitting their resume online. Let's show this by adding a process symbol and a connector line originating from HR's last activity step. As people apply for the job posting online before the established due date, Let's add an activity step and position it in this area of the process map, then a connector line from the previous step to this step. Record the details showing HR reviewing the incoming resumes from job applicants and creating an initial shortlist. Let's grab another process symbol and position it in this area so that we can show HR conducting the telephone interviews with the people on this list. The next step is to show HR creating a final shortlist and organizing personal interviews with the AP manager. At this point in the presentation, hopefully you can see the benefits of this common method of process mapping, including seeing the process come to life, showing who is doing what and when. This video is just a small sample of what one can learn about this important skill anyone can pick up with a bit of training and experience. 
we can now show the AP Manager engaging in the task of interviewing each individual on the final shortlist. Let's add another activity step. After the interviews are complete, the AP Manager will be able to reach a decision on their first choice individual and notify HR to offer the job. HR is now in a position to call this person to advise of their selection and send a job offer package. Let's add this step and a connector line originating from the AP Manager's previous step. It's now required to add another decision point symbol. This time it's within the job applicant swim lane with a connector line originating from HR's last activity step. Let's record the question by stating accept job offer which will have a yes or no decision outcome. Let's position this symbol on the lower side of the swim lane for space distribution purposes. The individual selected needs to answer this question. Let's first show the unhappy path by placing the process symbol within the HR swim lane, then add a connector line with a no outcome from the decision point. Move the word no closer to the symbol for formatting purposes. Record the details showing the advising the AP manager of the decline. We will continue this flow of the process in a moment. Let's complete mapping the happy path since we're almost there by adding an activity step and a connector line with a yes outcome from the decision point. Once again, Let's reposition a yes word closer to the symbol. If the individual accepts, HR will send an onboarding package to that person. Let's move this step to the right and connect it to the last activity step in the happy path. Let's go back to illustrate what happens after the first individual declined the job offer. Place a step and a connector line from HR's previous step showing the AP manager notifying HR to offer the job to their second choice individual. HR will call the second person to advise they've been selected and send a job offer package. Let's show this task connecting from the AP manager's previous step. Now let's add a third decision point to the map within the job applicant swim lane with the same question as the previous one. The main reason for this is because it has a different no path. If the second individual declines a job offer, we will add a connector line with a no outcome to this step we added earlier to the map between the AP manager and HR, which is the output to the unhappy path. Let's reposition the word no for formatting purposes. If the second individual accepts, HR will send an onboarding package as shown by connecting these two steps. To complete this logic, let's add the word yes and reposition it for formatting purposes. Now that we placed all the steps on the map, let's add some annotations to capture some essential details about the process without adding more steps and connector lines. Firstly, one of the key requirements is that the AP clerk needs to start before the new fiscal year begins. Let's use the annotation symbol to show this detail next to the first step. Furthermore, HR gets the job duty details from the requisition. Let's add this level of detail next to the second step in the workflow. As we know from the scenario description, the company has an application tracking system to automatically pre-screen resumes depending on the volume coming in relative to their timeline constraint. This is an important option in the process, so let's add this detail next to this step. Likewise, an optional reference check may be performed by HR before a personal interview with the AP manager is granted. Let's add an annotation next to this step. 
in addition, in the output of the unhappy path, the next steps may include revising the job duty details or reassessing the salary range. Let's add this important information next to this step. Lastly, a number of onboarding related tasks need to occur such as arranging for a desktop computer and workstation. Also, HR will raise a ticket in the work order system for the IT department. Let's show these details here. To conclude, let's number each step on the process map. Visio has a nice add-on feature to make this simple for you. Let's use the manual method of adding individual step numbers so that you can see this feature in action and to have a bit more control in the order and how you want the steps to be numbered. Numbering of the steps is optional. However, the benefit is that it would make it easier for people who need to review it or suggest edits by just referring to the step number instead of describing the entire step verbally or in writing when providing feedback. This is a time saver when validating the accuracy of a process map. Here's the finished product of a cross-functional or swim lane map for the employee recruitment process. As you can see, the process map is well structured with the right level of detail to allow you to use it for process analysis or other business application purposes. Need to learn more about process mapping? Please visit processmappingproducts.com. This website offers a very affordable and comprehensive online introductory process mapping training module with a closed captioning option in the following languages. English, French, Spanish, German, and Chinese Mandarin. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for our next video on process mapping. We will cover the topic and how to map a current state process to identify process improvement, digital or automation opportunities, including showing a future state process map.